I've got my computer. 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 I've got my Control tower calling up at our lunch flight two and a half. This is Captain Skeeter of flight two and a half. Go ahead, tower. You are cleared for takeoff. Fasten your seatbelts. We're taking off. Wow, this is the best flying chair I've ever been in. Isn't it wonderful, Kermit? We can go anywhere in our imaginations. Yeah, and best of all, you don't get us sick. Wow! Hang on! We're climbing to 30,000 feet! Gee, that's a lot of shoes! What's our compass reading, Gonzo? I think he's reading the sports section! Stop goofing off, Gonzo! Flying is serious business! Okay. Uh, oh boy, it worked. Ah, ah, ah. That will be one dollar. All right, get it. Here you are. No way, Fozzie. We don't accept imaginary money on this flight. Huh? Uh, excuse me, stewardess, but is there a movie on this flight? Why, certainly. <laughs> um, that's not quite what I had in mind. This is your captain speaking. We are flying through some choppy air. Please hold on tight. Choppy, choppy, choppy. Flight two and a half to tower. Request permission to land. This is the control tower. You're clear for landing on runway one. Hang on, we're coming in for a landing. Nice landing, Skeeter. That was fun. Let's take another trip. Yeah, let's go to Hawaii. No, let's go to Mars. Hey, hey, listen. The phone's ringing. I wonder who it is. Hello? Oh, hi, Mr. Jenkins. Yes, they're in the nursery. Manny's talking about us. Shh. No, I haven't decided yet. But you might as well come over now because I really must get rid of one of them. What? Oh, no. Manny's going to get rid of one of us. Gee, I can't understand it. Why would she want to do that? Maybe we cost her too much money. Or maybe we're too much trouble. Trouble! <laughs> That couldn't be the reason. I know. Maybe there's one too many of us for Nanny to start a bowling team. What? Never mind. Come on, guys. That's not what's important. Kermit's right. What's important is which one of us will it be. Hush. I forgot to put my toys away yesterday. Maybe she's going to get rid of me. Oh, no. Not you, Kermit. <laughs> you guys got nothing to worry about. Nanny loves frogs. And everybody loves dumb bears. Yeah. Uh, huh? Nope. She's gonna get rid of me. Cause she doesn't even know what I am. What am I anyway? I always thought you were a cross between a beach towel, a chicken hawk, and a bottle opener. Are you nuts? There's never been a beach towel in my family. Oh. Personally, I know she's not going to get rid of moi. Why, just the other day, Nanny said what a perfect angel I was. Oh, yeah? Not after she found out you rode your tricycle through the kitchen. What? You told... This is no joke. One of us is going to get tossed out in the cold. Oh, all alone in the great big world. 
I wonder what it'll be like. Hmm. If, uh, for some strange reason, Nanny does decide to get rid of me, I'll be able to make it on my own. I think. <laughs> oh, I miss my friends, especially my Kermie. Are you kidding? It's five degrees below zero. But I'm so cold. I was thrown out of my home, and I'm all alone, and I have no friends, and I don't... Okay, okay, we'll have a glass. Oh, goody! Hey, this is frozen. It is? Um, of course it is. It's the newest thing. Uh, lemonade ice cubes. Try it. No thanks. Oh, please. I'm all alone in the world. I haven't seen my friends in months. If you don't buy a cube, I'll just cry. Okay, okay, I'll take a cube. Yeah, 
there. We've been living together all our lives. It's going to be rough losing one of you guys. For all of you guys. Yeah, it could be any of us. I hope it's not me. I sure don't want to go. Me neither. Not me. Oh, I just can't stand it any longer. If Nanny can't decide which one of us she wants to get rid of, hmm, we'll just have to decide for her. Right, 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 right. How will we do that? We'll pick marbles to see which one of us goes. There are seven red marbles in this bag and one black marble. Whoever picks the black marble has to go. You go first. Gonzo. Do I have to? Yep. No. Oh, no! No, not me! I got the black one. It can't be! What do you say, guys? Bye-bye. Oh, poor Ganji. I know how awful you must feel. We better tell Nanny the good... Uh, I mean, bad news. ruin our friendships. Right. There must be something we can do. Hmm. Let me think. What are you doing? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Me think, me think. <laughs> you got any good ideas, Kermit? Nope. You got any fuzzy? Not really. I forgot what we were thinking about. <gasps> there they are, Mr. Jenkins. They're going to choose which one of us goes. Uh, hello, Nanny. You're looking very well today. Can I do the dishes for you? Or maybe you'd like a foot massage? That's sweet of you, Piggy, but I don't think so. Okay. Sure is nice to have music around the house, huh, Nanny? You do like music, don't you? Of course I do, Rolf. Especially yours. <sighs> well, you wouldn't separate us, would you, Nanny? Yeah, brothers and sisters should always be together. You're absolutely right, Scooter. I'd never let anyone separate the two of you. Animal no go bye-bye? No. Animals stay right here, here. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. She's not throwing me in the trash. No way. No how. I'll hide in here till they're gone. Oh. Oh. I never realized how much junk I kept in this closet. Well, Mr. Jenkins, it's one of these two. Huh? Yes, I see what you mean. They're both getting pretty old and shabby. <laughs> oh, no! No, please, not this one, Nanny! Wait a minute. If Nanny gets rid of Kermit, I'll have pity all to myself. Nanny! That one! That one! Take that one! <laughs> Thanks for your help, kids. But I finally made up my mind. Let's get rid of that one. <gasps> I know how you must feel, Fuzzy, but I had to pick one. There simply isn't enough room in the nursery for everything. I'll pull my truck around and get the papers ready. Boy, am I glad it wasn't one of us. Oh, Kermie, I was so worried for a minute. Me too. Wait a minute. What do we got to feel good about? We're about to lose Fuzzy. Ah, uh, I'm going to be all alone out in the cold. I'll freeze. I'll starve. Cheer up, Fozzie. It won't be that bad. Yeah, maybe you could move in with Smokey the Bear. Or better yet, if you brush up on your football, you might be able to join the UCLA Bruins. At least they won't throw you in the dog pound. Of course, they might throw you into the zoo. We'll always come to visit you, Fozzie. And we'll bring plenty of peanuts. Oh, no. Don't worry, Fozzie. Being by yourself isn't all bad. Right, guys? Right. Come on, let's show him how great it can be. You're needing a friend at a quarter to eight. You're ready to eat, but he's two hours late. Don't just sit there, fill up your plate. A table for one can be fun. What? A table for one can be fun. Superman, Tarzan, and E.T. too. They all flew 
Uncle Shomo, so can you. Give yourself a party every day. Celebrate life in a special way. If anybody asks, just smile and say, A table for one can be fun. A table for one can be fun. You guys are just trying to make me feel better, aren't you? Uh -huh. ah, I don't know if I can take it, living all alone in the grown-up world without my friends. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Come in! Isn't there anybody out there at all? Oh, well. I guess I can always play sports with myself. 22, 47, hi! Uh, it's no use. I'll never be able to play with my friends again. Don't say that, Fuzzy. Comet, where are you? Up here. What are you doing here? I've got to get used to being all alone. Oh, no, you don't. But Nanny is getting rid of me. Right, and I'm coming with you. You are? Sure. I could never leave my best pal alone. Gosh, you're a real swell guy, Comet. Come on, let's play some football. guys to play a game. Sure there are. You didn't think we'd leave you. Yeah, we're your friends too, Fuzzy. Come on, let's give our good friend Fuzzy a cheer. Give me an F. 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 Oh. Uh, give me an O. Oh. Oh. This is dangerous. Uh, give me two little Z's. Z. Z. Huh. Okay. You can always count on us, Fuzzy. Good idea, Ralph. If Fuzzy's going, we're all going. Right, guys? Right! Come on, let's pack and get ready to go. Are we packed and ready? <laughs> okay, let's go tell Nanny. Don't worry, I'll take care of everything. Sister Jenkins! Oh, no, he's coming to get me. What's all the screaming about? And where on earth do you think you're going? Um, well, uh, we decided that if you're going to get rid of Fuzzy, then you're going to have to get rid of all of us. That's right. If you don't love Fuzzy anymore, it probably won't be long before you stop loving the rest of us, too. What are you talking about? I'll never stop loving any of you, including Fuzzy. Huh? Well, you said you had to get rid of one of us. And then you picked Fuzzy. And then that man came to get him. Yeah! Mr. Jenkins didn't come to get Fozzie. He, he did? did? No, he came to get that old chair. He did? That's right. I have a store that fixes up old furniture to sell. Kermit, Piggy, Fozzie, next time why don't you try asking instead of jumping to the wrong conclusions, okay? Okay. Sorry, Nanny. Gee, I'm sure glad that's over. Yeah, I thought I was a goner. Boy, you guys aren't very smart. Personally, I knew Nanny was talking about the chair all along. You did? Sure. Oh, Mr. Jenkins, before you leave, why don't you go back into the nursery and take that little blue one, too? Oh, it's me! She's gonna get rid of me! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, no! Keep away! You can't take me! I've got a stuffed chicken to support! coming for me all along. But, uh, just in case, could I come live with you, maybe? The Muppet Babies will be back again tomorrow morning at 6. But don't go away. Theodore Tugboat and Madeline are next on the Disney Channel.